Welcome back. There's a small pest causing big problems in Texas waters. This morning, local bo boaters got a lesson on how to fight it. And that's one way the state is trying to stop the spread of zebra mussels. They're an invasive species of shellfish that first appeared in Lake Texoma north of Dallas about nine years ago. Zebra mussels can attach themselves to boats and infest other bodies of water. And uh, if they get into the infrastructure in the uh, uh, lakes or the reservoirs where the water is uh, coming from, if they get into the dams, they can actually clog up the infra infrastructure. There are three simple steps to fighting zebra mussels. First, take your boat out of the water and drain it. Next, rinse and clean it with a pressure washer. Then let it dry for at least seven days before you put it back in the water. Okay, so today's mm -hmm. demonstration that Priscilla just told you about brought up a question that our fact check team looked into. Fact or fiction, are boaters required by law to follow those steps? So consider this your warning, boaters. It's a fact. Since 2014, the state has required boaters to help fight the spread of zebra mussels. Parks and Wildlife says that signs are posted at all public boat ramps to remind them to drain their boats and follow all of the steps. We saw that at today's demonstration. If they don't follow the rules, they could be charged with a Class C misdemeanor and have to pay up to $200. So if you have something that you'd like for us to fact check, you know what to do. Just send us an email to factcheck at chrisstv.com.